tonight we are going to have just a discussion and I, I want you guys to interrupt and vocalize, ask questions or whatever, but about painting possibilities in your business. And um, I'm going to share a little bit first and then Ellen, I'm going to have you pipe in. But one of the things that I think I've been seeing is a lot of people are having a little bit of a, a difficult time sometimes with painting possibilities with people. And one thing I really want you guys to be aware of is that most people, when they first hear about Juice Plus, they say what? What do they say when you ask them about it? What do they say if they're interested in knowing more? Or... You mean the negative side? You mean they'll, they'll yeah. just say, oh, I already eat enough raw fruit. Oh, I already eat enough fruits and vegetables. A lot of, yeah, they'll give you something like that. I already yeah. eat enough fruits and they vegetables. They always tell you they're not a salesperson. I'm not a salesperson. We hear all these objections. And what happens a lot of times is we all go, oh, okay. Instead of being their strength, right? So I want to give you an example of something that was really cool that happened when, um, and it was great because Ellie was with me and she is not on the call. She, but well, she's moving. I'm going to give her a pass. Um, <laughs> um, we were doing this booth a few weekends ago and this woman came by the booth and she told us that she was in the middle of recovering from cancer and that she used to take two books. And I said, well, that's, you know, why, why is that used to? And she goes, oh, you know, I just, I got out of the habit. I, you know, um, I didn't really feel it doing anything. And, um, and my body's really sensitive. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. I can't, you know, all the stuff that was in Juice Plus. Now I could have easily said, oh, I completely understand. And we would have went on, on our merry ways. But what I did is I said to her, I said, well, gosh, you know, first of all, I'm so sorry to hear that you are going through some cancer stuff. But second, if I could explain to you why you can take Juice Plus, gosh, it would be the best thing you could possibly do is to get this in your body while you're going through this. And she said, okay, well, sure. So, you know, I went down to her, where she had another booth that was there and went down there and talked to her and gave her some information. And I just said to her, look, you know, we have research. We actually know what happens in people's bodies that eat Juice Plus. And for you, what you're going through, that DNA study, I went to the DNA study and the immune system study, uh, the inflammation study, and I said, all of that, this is based on studies on thousands of people, several studies, do you want to have these kind of results in your body? If so, you want to add just plus back to your diet. So she ended up, and I said, look, she goes, she goes I just don't think I'm going to be able to take it. I said, well, you know what? I'll tell you what, let's try it, and if it doesn't work out for you, we can send it back. There's, you know, no big deal. She's like, okay. Well, I got a letter from her about a week ago and she said, Reagan, I just want you to know, I'm very sensitive. I know when something is working in my body. And she goes, I feel like my body went, ah. And she said, it's the first time she's been able to sleep through the night. She has more energy. It's the first time she's felt good. And I just thought, oh my gosh, what if I hadn't come back a little bit with her, right? And I wasn't being, and so I think we all worry about being pushy, but whether it's the product or whether it's somebody maybe going to join our team that we want to join our team, everybody throws stuff out. I did it for a year and somebody stood strong for me and that's why I'm here today, right? So we have to realize that people don't know what they're saying no to. They don't know what they're really objecting to. And it's our job to stand and be that strength to say in a nice way to say, well, actually, you know, if I could show you why, you know, this works or why it doesn't take as much time as what you're thinking or whatever it is, would you just take a look at it? You know, so I'm not going to just back down and go, okay, I understand. Okay. Um, I've had other situations and this is long ago, but I had, um, I had a, a, a girl who was on my team and we had somebody who we were really helpful for. And I, there, there was a big, huge event that was going to be happening in Denver. And I said, well, is, is this girl, is your team member coming? And she goes, oh, she couldn't possibly come. Her husband works late that evening. Now, I want you to know that event was three weeks away. And I said to her, don't argue for their inadequacies, okay? Argue for their potential and help her find a babysitter, you know, figure out a way. I mean, three weeks away you know, we can offer suggestions like, well, what about trading with somebody that evening? You know, you trade kids or I have a daughter who could come and babysit or whatever. Do you guys see what I'm saying? 
I think sometimes that we too quickly jump on the side of arguing for people's inadequacies or their fears versus standing strong for them. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So what do you think about that? Throw it out there. I think sometimes it feels scary to do that. I think sometimes it feels pushy, but we also have to realize that, you know, for the most fortunate people on this planet, they might have one or two people in their life that are casting vision for them. You know, maybe it's their pastor, maybe it's a supportive spouse, maybe it's a best friend, maybe it's a boss. So we really want to walk into those those shoes and it's really about the potential of where they could go versus anything, you know, that could possibly hold them back. Yeah. yeah. I think you're also, you're also teaching people how to problem solve. I mean, it gets easy for us to make excuses and reminding people. So, I mean, sometimes they're going to make, you're going to continue to make excuses no matter what, but if, if it's, if it's a real excuse versus, oh, like, you know, <clears throat> you're just teaching them to problem solve right off the bat. So if they do end up joining your team or doing anything, you're also kind of showing them how, you know, how, what it means to be an entrepreneur or even just be a, a successful working mom or anything like we just, you it's, it's easy to get to fall into those tracks and make our kids as our kids become our excuses or whatever our spouse becomes our excuse. And then sometimes it just takes somebody else seeing through that and going, well, there's a solution to that. It's figure outable. It's solvable. We can, we can, you know, we can come up with some solutions. We got three weeks. And so I think that's a, I think that's a really, um, it's a great service to help people regardless of whether they join Juice Plus or not, sometimes it's just reminding them that you're not a victim of your circumstances. You've got choices. Yeah. So I like that approach. I think it's a great, yeah. Yeah, so so Rachel and I were chatting today and um, um, I said to her, cause we, she had a couple of situations where these people are kind of blowing her off a little bit and and um, one of them had a very valid reason, the other one maybe not so much. And I said, you know, sometimes what Rachel said was she said, um, you know, I don't want to bother them. And I said, yeah, but I don't want them to bother you either, right? So you, you guys need to protect your own time. And for me, I don't want to do this um, dog and pony show with people for months and months and months because I want to show them that this is a really easy decision, right? This is a five minute decision. It's $50, you know, there's, there's for the product, there's a hundred percent money back guarantee. Let's get you started. You know, what, what are you waiting for? And sometimes people will still blow you off, but sometimes if you can just make it to where it's really easy to non juice plus, or it's really easy, like you might as well have them join your team. They will. And then you can take the next steps from there. And when you're talking about like, you know, I was telling Rachel's a runner and I said, it'd be kind of like if you had a, um, a coach and you had never run a marathon and you'd only maybe run 10 miles and you decided you were going to do a marathon. Um, and then you, you got scared and you said, cause you didn't really know what that was about cause you've never done it. Right. So you said to your coach, Oh, um, I don't think I can do it. And the coach went, okay, I understand. Right. Versus. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you totally can. You've already run 10 miles. It's, you know, a breeze after that and you'll be fine. Um, and then the other thing we talked about was, you know, a lot of people, when we talk to them about joining our team, they have this, like, they don't know what to, the idea is. It's that some people have this big idea, like, oh my gosh, it's a job or it's this big, you know, I'm have this obligation versus it being about, hey, just share with one person, right? So we've got to paint that vision for them to say, look, you know what, let's just do the first step and we'll see where it goes. We don't have any have tos or anything like that. You know, so many people though, they think about running a marathon and they get so concerned about the too big a picture that they don't even go buy running shoes, right? They don't even run around the block because they're so busy thinking about this big picture. So mm -hmm. if for us, we've got to kind of make it simple for people to say, look, it's 50 bucks, you're gonna get that back. You've already talked about three people that you could share it with. I bet you know, 
a bazillion more people that need more fruits and vegetables, or I know you, you know a lot of people with kids, am I right? Let's just get you started. We'll take it step by step and don't worry about it. Okay. I love that, Reagan. Um, Erica and I had a great team, uh, three-way call this morning with a gal she invited onto her team. And we were talking there about the express track to sales coordinator because this gal does need to make some money quickly. And so we were able to show her what she could do with this. But one of the things that I said to her, as I said, look, it's July 1st. We have 62 days between now and when this express track incentive ends on August 31st. If you talk to two or three people a day, if you talk to two people a day in 62 days, you talk to 124 people. Don't you think you'd have more than 25 people on the trio by then? Right. And so sometimes it's just breaking down those steps and understanding that it's a little bit simpler than maybe your brain wants it to look. Yeah. So Beth, Beth, can I use your situation? Would you unmute? Can I unmute you? Can you come on? Oh, there, hold on. You'll have to unmute yourself. It won't let me do you. Oh, well, there we go. There Hello. you go. Hi. So, with, so Beth called me last week and she had a situation with somebody who's new on the product and the woman had, can I share a little bit? You, oh, is that yes, okay? absolutely. Um, the woman had, had some hip, hip fractures, some bone fractures. Yeah. Found out that she was on um, Fosamax, which hardens your bones lots of different medications. And she said that she wasn't feeling great. And she was thinking about she wanted to be on the gummies. And I had said to, to Beth that she really needs to be on the capsules for that situation because in the, she needs those enzymes. And um, she wanted to get off of the Fosamax. And she said, I don't like taking pills. Right, Beth? Right. Yeah. And I said to her, but she's happy taking the Fosamax. Yes. Right? Yes. So sometimes in that situation, you can just say, look, you know, I know you're already taking that Fosamex, but let's just replace that with something good and think about it that's food inside. Like, you know, it's just a little statement. It's not being pushy. It's really kind of guiding them to really what's best for them. Does that feel pushy to you guys? Mm -mm. No. It's just a suggestion, right? Like, it's not like, you should do this. This is what you need to do. This is like, you know, well, you're already taking that, you're wanting to replace it. Can we just, you know, it's just kind of guiding them. It's giving people options. You know, has somebody told you that you can make an appointment at the DMV so you don't have to go sit there and wait? Oh, you're kidding. What a great option to know about. This is giving people options. It's true, by the way, Beth. I know, can we do that, please? I need to renew my license. <laughs> I do too. Where do you guys get stuck? I think I get stuck with knowing what to say. I kind of just like panic in the situation and go, okay, you're right. You know, and then I think of something later, but I am not as quick to the, yeah, on the draw, you know? So I think that's what's harder for me is to like kind of, yes, I have their best interest in mind and I'm telling them this and you know, all that, but it's just, it's not like, you know, not as quick. Yeah, so, so Jenna, so what makes you, what do you think makes you get, what makes you get stuck in that moment? What is your, what's going through your brain at that time? Um, well, I, I guess like not enough self-confidence in, you know, what I'm saying to them, which is silly. Um, I don't know, honestly, I think it just, I, I hate confrontation or anything like it. And I know that's not confrontation really, but it's like someone pushing back a little bit, um, which is scary for me. You know, when people push back, maybe they think, well, she doesn't know what she's talking about or this is silly or she's wrong. Or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jenna, I, I feel like I get stuck at the same place sometimes and um, I think for me, it's like the second I get an objection, all this, so I start out having their best interest in mind. Right. Yeah. And then the second that I get an objection, all of a sudden I'm starting to think about, okay, what are they going to think about me? Right. And it, yeah, it, it's like, it almost switches them. overnight or like, oh, like in a, like a, a click yeah. and then it's, 
And so then I'm actually not able to be a good resource for them and their best interest anymore, right? Because right. I've started to shine the light. I, I went from shining the light on them to all of a sudden, oh, right, shining the light on me. And then I'm getting in my head and all this kind of stuff. And it's really, it's hard to like know and like take a breath in that moment. I feel like for me, instead of like trying to figure out, okay, what should I say next? I almost like yeah. have to take a pause and just breathe mm -hmm. and know that the exactly the second that they have an objection, I'm going to go into them, you know, what are they thinking about me? And I have to like breathe, just take a deep breath. I know what I'm doing here and then focus the light back on them and how I can help them and be yeah. a best service to them in that situation. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? That makes total sense. It There's a little trick. makes perfect sense. Yeah. There's a little trick to get that to go. And I learned this way back from Tom Hopkins, who was a real estate guy. I should probably pull that stuff out and give you guys some of this good stuff, but he calls it a feedback, right? So if you're asking enough questions, you know, that you do when you, when they start answering the questions, you just hold out the feedback. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're spitting all of whatever that, you know, what is there, what do they need? Like you're looking for, what do they need? Right. And they're putting it all in the bag and then you're just feeding it back to them. So when you said, that you're tired of your kids being sick as often. So they objected, right? You said you were sick of your kids being as sick as often. You know, were you serious when you said you would love to get them more fruits and vegetables, right? Like, did you see how this research would really help your kids, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you can kind of feed back, feed bag, okay, feed bag, feed back to them what they said and bring them back around because then you're making it all about them. It's kind of a really good it's a really easy thing to do. And then they go, Oh yeah, that's true. Well, let's just get you started. Yeah. No, well, that's the that. that can happen, right? Yeah. That's great. So everybody right. objects, just so you know, they all object if they're interested. Think about it. Did you? No. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably objected somewhere along the way. You know, for me, it was, I was already signed up as a distributor, love the product. I objected to going to events. I had no idea why it was important to go to any kind of an event. I was like, those people are going to get together in some hotel meeting room and like hold hands and sing Kumbaya. I haven't got the time. <laughs> yeah, so somebody would have said, I understand. No problem. Right. What if they would have just given up on me? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Reagan Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that person? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So Ellen had objected to that and we said, but you, I thought you wanted to make some money with this and we'd love for you to know who you're attached to and you're going to know how to fly the airplane on the way home. So if you could do that it would be worth your time. It shortens you getting to national marketing director by a year. Is that worth your time? Right? And she decided to come. So whether it's events or it's products or it's whatever, right? Joining your team, you guys, stand strong in what you know to be true, right? Be the guide. It doesn't mean you're being pushy. It means that you're standing firm, right? You know, are you going to let somebody push your kids around? Or would you stand firm, right? Would you let some mom drag your kids to like an R-rated movie or something that's probably a bad example? Or would you say, no, our family doesn't do that because, or whatever, right? You would stand strong because that's your belief. So you've got to really know what you believe about the product, okay? Um, speaking of that too, when we talk about the product, and Patty, I don't know if you feel like piping in or not. By the way, you guys, Patty, we all want to say prayer, prayer for Patty. She's on her healing journey. Uh, say hello. Um, we so, love you, Patty. Yes. Yeah. But one of the concerns she brought up is that sometimes we hear people like promising the world about Juice Plus. And just because people eat Juice Plus does not mean that they're not going to have to deal with cancer or anything else. It just means that you've got those nutrients on board and your body has the ability better than somebody that doesn't. Okay. It's prevention. So Patty, I don't know if you want to share a little bit more if you feel like it. If not, I totally understand. <clears throat> well, hello, everybody. I had my port place today, <laughs> so I'm a little bit on the groggy side, but it's great to see you all, and thank you all for your prayers. I really do appreciate you. Um, I guess what my biggest concern was is that uh, 
kind of recently we've had some juice plus people on the team or else uh, sidelines that have had some health issues and sometimes I'll see even NMDs post on Facebook that they're so happy that they have you know, their safety belt of Juice Plus, that means they're never going to be sick and they're never going to get this and they're never going to get that. And I cringe a little bit because, you know, thank God I have had Juice Plus. I mean, I've, I've had a history of cancer. I had ovarian cancer 20 years ago. And who knows why this happened because I have been consistently taking doubles or triples of Juice Plus for the last 16 years. But it doesn't mean that you're exempt from any of this stuff because health is an overall pillar. There are many, many pillars of health and Juice Plus and great nutrition is just one of them. So you really have to be careful about how, and I, and I don't want to say this in a condescending or preaching way, I don't mean that, but we have to be careful how we state that because just because we take Juice Plus doesn't mean we're not going to have those things happen. But hopefully that great nutrition in our body will keep us um, on an even keel and keep our body going in the right direction and whatever it is that we need to deal with, it'll go away faster. We hope, you know, that's what we hope. And I had a thought and I lost my thought, but um, I think the, the biggest thing is, is that we make sure that people understand that it is foundational, right, Reagan? It's yeah. Oh, I was talking about the pillars. You know, there's pillars. I mean, unforgiveness is a huge pillar. If you're, if you're holding grudges and, for, and not being forgiving with people, that can cause incredible disease or things like um, negative thinking, you know, and I, I'm a great one for that or not getting enough rest. I mean, all the years that we owned our business, there were days that I had three, four hours of sleep and I worked all day long with that. So there's so many fact, factors that lead to good health and great nutrition is but one. But it would be well for us to explain to our people, our clients, that if they want to really live a healthy life and hopefully not get all these things. I wish somebody would have told me back then in the day when I, you know, when we had our business for 30 some years that, you know, you better get some rest or you better, you know, you better make sure you're eating properly in addition to all the, you know, the great nutrition of Juice Plus. So that really is about it. But thanks, Reagan, for letting me pipe in because, um, the worst thing that could ever happen is you have a client who's been on Juice Plus for many years and all of a sudden they get something. Now, I thought Juice Plus was going to cover me on this. And then it becomes this whole thing where you have to kind of backtrack. But there's so much more to it than just great nutrition. So thank you all. I appreciate it. Happy birthday, Patty, too. Thank you. Yes, we're praying for you. We love you so much. Thank you. We're praying for, for you every day. Thank you. Tomorrow I'm 61. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going to be a good year. Well, I sure love what Patty shared because, you know, we had our mompreneur Zoom last night and we really drilled down on three things. And that was the product isn't just a product, it's an experience for people, right? They're really diving into that world of healthy living. And what does that mean? There's so many different components. But second, the mission that the business isn't a business, it's a mission we're on, right? And then number three, it's about connection. It's about, you know, even showing people what would your life be like with more meaningful, you know, friends on your mission that you're doing this with, because we've all found that here and, and sharing that and inviting them into our community. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys too, one of the things sometimes I say to people is, look, you know, either, either you want to know about this or you don't. I'm not here to convince you. All right. Okay. So I think sometimes people put us off because they're afraid to say no to us or whatever. Or sometimes I'll say, it's okay to say no. You know, in other words, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of people I need to talk to. I'm not hanging all of my hopes of success onto you. Right. That doesn't feel good to people. Right. So sometimes I'll say, look, you know what, let me give you the information, but I'm not here to convince you. You know, either you want to you know, join our team or you don't, either you want to get on Juice Plus or you don't, but this is, this is a five minute decision. It, this is, this is something that is super simple to do. And it's kind of a no brainer. Like, why wouldn't you want this in your body? And either you want to, or you don't, and it's okay either way. So <laughs> get some verbiage into your, you know, and maybe that's not your verbiage. I mean, that works for me, 
but maybe you could think of something maybe a little softer than I am, you know, but um, find something that you don't let people drag you around the block to where you're dripping and drip. I hate that word dripping and dripping, you know, you know, where you're sharing with them forever. You guys want to wrap it up with people and move on and find some other people. You're going to be having a lot of people waste your time and there are professional time wasters out there. They're really good at what they do. And so you need to really protect yourself and realize that you have a lot of people to help. And if they're one of them, great, let's get them going. And if not, that's okay. And Jenna, I think for you, for you to come back with some of those people and go, you know, I'm not here to convince you. I think we'd have a lot of fun together, whatever. Either you want, either you want to earn some extra money with your kids at home or, or you don't, either this is for you or it's not. And either way is okay. But honestly, based on what you said and feedback, what they said, right? You said da, 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 and I think that's a perfect fit. Let's just get you started. What do you think? <clears throat> Does that feel okay? That feels good. It feels okay. better than what I was doing. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Reagan. Yeah. Reagan, can I throw one thing out that, sure. that was really helpful with verbiage? And, and if we're talking about verbiage right now, back when we all went to MLMU, Patty's back there and you and I, and there may be somebody else on the call, I'm not sure. Mel, I don't know if Mel went to MLMU. Mm -hmm. did, did you, Mel? What we did was we paired up with other reps and we went back and forth about our product story, our business story, and common objections until if somebody became bulletproof, somebody said something to you already, you'd practice with them back and forth and you knew enough what to say. So no matter what they said, they just couldn't rally your cage. I know Jennifer Myers always says that and so do you. But I just remember how helpful that was for have someone would say to me, well, why would I want to take that anyway? Well, you could come back with, from that objection to, to respond back and not freeze up for, I, I, sometimes it's just practicing those yeah. objections, those common objections. I know that Hilton put out. Well, and, and you have to. It's try, and it's good to have to know what you're going to say, but it's also it's better to know how you feel about what you're going to say. True, I That's agree with that. Because people can say all the right things, but inside feel hesitant. They can have the perfect smile on their face, say it in the right tone of voice, and people will know. Because most communication is energetic. It's nonverbal. So it's, you won't be able to help yourself the way you're holding your body. So you guys want to get really, like for me, what made me solid in Juice Plus is go read the research summary. You guys go know what this does in people's bodies. I mean, for me, like we're at that booth. We got quite a few orders at the booth because I said, look, this is what it is. Fruits and vegetables. Here's the results. If you want those results, you eat Juice Plus, most medically researched nutritional product in the world. Would you like to get started? And they just started filling out the form. You know, so I mean, it like it was a no brainer. Of course, I did ask them, you know, what, you know, what would you like to change in your health? You know, why are you looking? Why did you stop by? I already kind of knew that. And I could even tie back some of that research to what they said, like the cancer lady, right? I could come back and talk to her about how inflammation is so huge for cancer to get that out of her body and have something that would help her do that would be huge, you know? So go read the research, you guys. Get that under your belt and know what this product does. Okay, go watch some Dr. Du Bois videos from way back when. He does a great job with that. Yes, he does. Reagan, that brings up a question for me. Um, earlier, you said uh, you thought the capsules would be better for someone than um, yeah, someone than the um, chewables. And, yeah. and you said something about enzymes. So why do you think the capsules are better? Because there's added enzymes that are in the capsules that are not in the chewables. Okay. The chewables okay. are great, but if you have somebody that can swallow a capsule, we want them on the capsules. Um, and Rachel, you can maybe explain this better. The way I explain it is the enzymes or the cell, can, they help the body know how to use that information that's coming in from the nutrition. They're kind of the life of okay. the food. And Rachel, I don't know, maybe you can explain that a little better for people, why the enzymes are so important. She's frozen. Well, and Reagan, what you told me was to have her open the capsule yeah. and just put it on her tongue. Yeah. So, so if, she doesn't want to, if she doesn't want to swallow them, she can, you guys, they taste like food because they are. Yeah, I'm going to try that. 
tomorrow morning. Put it on your tongue. We have babies that suck it out of the capsules, or you could put it in a shake, or so help them again, help them find a way that they could get that into their bodies, right? Oh, my baby can't take <laughs> plus because they're not eating, you know, they, that way they would choke on the gummies. Well, let's open up a capsule, right? Or let's cut those gummies really small, right? Yeah. Let's put it in their cereal. Like, there's lots of ways. So you want to be the one that's the resource thinking about why it will work for them. So Rachel, you're back. Would you explain how the, why the enzymes are so important? Oh yeah, I was just saying that they're, they're rate limiting. So they're often the enzymes are rate limiting steps in certain pathways. So they'll allow the pathway to go forward or not. And so if you don't have the enzymes on board, a lot of the benefits of the phytonutrients aren't there. Um, but yeah, I, and just to reiterate what you said, like even, like I was shocked, my mom's a nurse <laughs> and she gave me the like, oh, I can't swallow the capsules. It, or, you know, I've, ha I've been having trouble swallowing the capsules. And I, I said, mom, open them up and sprinkle them on your food. Like, what would you have told your patients? Like, <laughs> and she's like, oh, duh. I, well, I don't know why I didn't think of that. So it's kind of, it's funny, you know, I, I just assume, like, you know, <laughs> the fact that I had to like remind my mom, who was a nurse for so many years to like open the capsules and sprinkle them. Like it just, it's funny how the blocks people have and you know, maybe she was using as a little bit of an excuse for why she was forgetting to take them. And that, that's another issue. But like, you know, it, that, it's still funny. You just have to get it, remember to be a problem solver for people. And yeah. And, and so, I, and I somewhere, forget to do that too, because I just assume people will think of that. Somewhere in the ingredients, does it say that the enzymes are added or are those just part of the phytonutrients that They're are not, in the plants? they're not added they're just not they get lost in the processing when you make turn it into a gummy so okay so those enzymes don't stay alive like they're they're more active okay. in the you know i've seen the data from the the enzymes you know the enzyme activity is way high in the capsules but you lose that from the and then remember also none of the research has been done on gummies it's all been done on the capsules so right yeah. Although we have great anecdotal research with this. So we know, we know more about the benefits. Yeah. yeah. Like we've got some people like Beth had her gal who's this gal is having a total detox just from the gummies. So sometimes that's a gentle way to also get people kind of going, but you know, and with kids and stuff, you know, Absolutely. yeah. And I wanted to say one more thing about um, coming up with a uh, problem solving with taking everything. Uh, my son, Aaron, love to just put one of the omegas in his mouth and suck on it until he gets all the oils out and then he puts it in the trash perfect i know he's getting the omegas and he loves it because they taste great awesome so, yeah they <laughs> do really so do the capsules yeah and he's free yeah i'm gonna try that tomorrow morning by the way yeah yeah awesome and we're not saying the gummies are bad they're still good but if somebody if they can take the capsule give them get them on the capsules you guys so yeah. now i know yeah. okay well, we're a little over time. I apologize for that, but um, let me stop the recording.